Good morning, everyone. This is take two. <laughs> Somewhere my camera stopped and I'm not sure when. Okay, I, I'm doing the woods section today and I do have two scraps and then I've got the paper studio because sometimes you need a white but probably I've actually got better papers now but sometimes just the color is just a little di different and you have to have one of these so I have these colors in there just from their loose papers and they're eight and a half by eleven and then this one is twenty years old at least and it is from the paper pizzazz or hot off the press and it, kind of, it has a Greek key and it kind of looks like marble same with this one it has a marbly look but I think these were from a paper or like a book type of thing and there were eight and a half by eleven and one side was solid I, I do remember buying them and they they're 20 years old <laughs> and then this here this is actually from paper studio but it looks like plaster and sometimes you just need that vintage -y thing especially when I you know was just buying them to make cards and stuff Okay, now this is also a paper studio, but um, they actually have a pad, this 8.5 by 11. Now I wish they would do this one in the 12 by 12 book because it is super heavy duty. I mean, it's you wouldn't be able to run it through a printer. It's really heavy. And they have more colors, but um, my friend had bought the pad and she gave me some of each because you got several in the book. Okay, and this is um, Paper Pizzazz, but the 12 by 12. And I have, I think, like six of those. And this one here is Reminisce, and this was called Lace and Wood, and there must have been a whole collection. And Well, it's called Vintage Lace, but the paper's called Vintage Wood, or Lace and Wood, but, um, it looks like it would be really nice for like a wedding paper so I'm gonna actually put it in my wedding or love and wedding and this one here is birch and I think I'm gonna put this in my outdoor select outdoor collection because I just don't see using, or I, you know, I would never pull this out or look for it in wood, I don't think. Well, maybe I would because it's been there the whole time, but I'm gonna put it in the outdoor. Maybe I'll actually use it. And this, again, is like that plaster. And this is by who? Rocky Mountain Scrapbook Company. How about that? And it's purple, and I'm going to put it in with my Halloween. Or maybe just some purple. It's going to go somewhere else, because that's where... Sometimes, you know, I want purple and Halloween. Okay, and this one here, I'm going to put this with outdoor. And that was from a paper pad. And this one here is Rustic Elegance. And when I purchased this... I actually was, I think maybe I got one in the Rustic Elegance. I don't know. I got the Rustic Elegance at um, Tuesday morning. So it's like, I don't know. I might have bought one when I was just buying wood. Because at first I didn't have much wood except for what I had from Hobby Lobby. So since then I've collected a bunch. So I think I'm actually going to go put this back with the Echo Park collection because um, I've got enough wood where I don't have to use this for that. And I do, did go to a wedding where it, was, it would probably be perfect, so. Okay, and this is Memory Place, and this one's called Rustic Dreams. And all these woods are beautiful, and are back, they're great backgrounds. I mean, this has got like the bent over nails, the plastic, broken plaster. I just think it's so beautiful. 
and then the other side looks like this. It's really pretty paper. And I like this one too. It just looks like um, well, an old house where they just painted over everything. It's so pretty. Oh, and I have used the flowers off this too because it's really pretty, but I bought it for this. But I did use some of the flowers because they were so pretty and perfect for the layout I was doing. Okay, and this one here where it looks like they're plastered over the brick. It's just gorgeous. And I must use some of that because I don't see the other because I know I got two of each one. And this one here, I must have used some of this too. And then this side looks like this. This one I just put in here when I did my winter because I figured I would use this before I'd use this because I thought this would look more navy than what it does. And so I just thought, you know what? I just like this better as wood. So that's the one I'm using. And this is a Suka. And it's the weathered wood and crystal. And I have, I bought it for the wood. And then one day I used the crystal and I even used it when I didn't have much wood because it just looked perfect for the layout I was doing. And it's, it's really pretty both sides. And I think this is Paper Studio. Yes. So it's just Paper Studio. This is Paper Studio, another color. No, it's not. This, this must be from a paper pad. I don't know. It's pretty flimsy. Okay, and this is Prima. And I think I bought two, two of these. But look at the peaches. I mean, this is just so beautiful on both sides. So I might have put the other one in. I don't know where I would have put it. But it seems like I might have got two and put the other one someplace else. But it's so pretty. Both sides are beautiful. Okay, and I think this is Paper Studio. Yep. And this one here is Simple Stories. And it's called Color Vibe. And this one's called Notebook. And then on this side, it looks like the Notebook. And this one is called Reminisce and Weathered Wood. Or Weathered Wood. It's called Barn Beauty. I do have some called Weathered Wood. Okay, so Barn Beauty. And so one side looks like this. And then the other side looks like this. And I think I've used... I didn't see another one like this. So maybe I've used three of them. Because I think I had two sets of it. Okay, and this one's called Color Vibe. And it's the cardstock again, where it's um, wood on one side and ledger on the other. I've kind of got these in like, kind of like rainbow or dark to light to dark. And this was from a paper pad. And I think it might have been Maggie Holmes because that looks like Maggie Holmes flowers. And this one, I must have bought it separate when I was just collecting wood because um, this one is Snap Basics. And again, it's got like the grid on the back. But the other ones are all at the top and they're called Color Vibes. So, but this is a really pretty one too. I like how they like tongue and grooved type wood. And this one's another notebook. Kind of a green cast but it says cream okay and this one here is this is another one I think I just bought it look when I was collecting wood and I just ordered like 10 different sheets of wood or something and this one's paper or American crafts and it's pretty flimsy like it would be hard to use it as a background unless you put another paper back there Okay, and this is Reminisce, again, the Barnwood Beauty. So on one side it looks like this with the door and the window, and the other side is just the weathered red, which is gorgeous. This is another paper studio, 
and I just thought it was really unique so I had to get a couple of those too and this one this was back to school and I think I have this collection and I, I had purchased it at Tuesday morning um, a lot of the paper pads I had or paper kits that I had are from Tuesday morning because I really had hadn't really bought a lot of papering unless I bought it at um, Hobby Lobby because that was the closest place to me <laughs> so um, when I found this it's like okay I'm just taking it right out of the back to school and putting it in the wood and this is from a paper pad it's got like the I think they call this wormwood okay and this looks like the color of wood that I grew up in my house <laughs> and it's from what okay Francis Meyer oh and this is from a paper pad too and this paper and again I bought it Tuesday morning and I bought it because there was a lot of wood through the whole thing and this is I love it with the bike on there it's just hard to use but I really like it and this again I'm sure came from a paper pad yeah cuz it's got the map on the back so I don't know what it came in but really neat looking wood and it's a neat looking map and this again came from a paper pad and I'm not sure what one and here's the weathered wooden crystals and this blue I must have used one of these because that's this is the only one I see in here okay and this is another blue wood it's from graphic 45 catch of the day And then this side is, of course, um, nautical. Okay, and I think this is Paper Studio, yep. And these are thin. I mean, it would be hard to use it as a background unless you backed it with another paper. Okay, and this is one I got the other day. Um, if you've seen my haul, it's actually from Mittens and Mistletoe. But I bought it for the wood. I have the mittens and mistletoe paper pad, but I got the wood for 33 cents. That's why I bought it. Okay, and this again came from a paper pad, and I don't remember who it was. It might have been Jen Hadfield or um, Maggie Holmes. Okay, and this is the Barnwood Beauty so one side looks like a door and then the other side looks like this and I had bought two of these collections so I have four of those left some of them I've kind of used them up but now this one here um, again it's the Barnwood Beauty and so one side looks like this and the other side looks like this and I know I used one of these on the layout of my husband where he's um, dressed up for an old time photo okay and this one here oh I use this in one of the um, Chrissy's beautiful life sketches and I think was it with my granddaughter on there maybe I don't remember who or it might have been on my friend's farm pictures from my friend's farm but super cute and this is the other side where with the wood it's like these are beautiful and I like both sides so it's really neat and this one on one side and this on the other so I've used some of these because I only have the two left it looks like and this one is one that I had purchased um, when I was just starting to trying to collect some wood and it's got this little horse here but I thought I would use it as a background and it's so pretty because it's like it's stenciled around the outside with leaves and and then like the um, like a filigree but it is a little flimsy so you'd have to back it and it's from paper house but it is pretty you know if you wanted the horse on there too it is 
really pretty. Okay, and this is the color Vibe, and it's the cardstock with the cream grid. Is this one where it looked kind of green? I think so. Yeah, yeah, that is the same one. Okay, and this one is from a paper pad, and I'm not sure what it was, but it's got that golden, I don't know what it would have been, but, but really pretty looking wood, really rustic looking. And here's the cream ledger with the wood. Oh, and I have, t oh, now this looks the same, but they are from a different pad. Yeah, it's not the same. I must have bought these when I was just purchasing just wood paper. That I've got two of those now. Because I know for a while I just bought like 10 pieces from <laughs> Just trying to collect some of the woods. Okay, and this one is Photo Play, and it's great outdoors, and it's called Roll Your Boat, and it looks like this on the side. And I know I had purchased other ones that day, and when I got them, they were shiny, and um, I didn't want them, so my friend says, I will take them. And I said, okay. I said, because I'm really spoiled and don't like the shiny. <laughs> Okay, and this is another one of the Paper Studio, and it's black, so it's kind of nice to have a different color. And this one is the Color Vibe Simple Stories again with the white grid. Okay, and this one here is, what is this? This is the, oh, P13. Do I have the cover of that? No. Okay. Oh, this is actually the back of it. And so you got three of four different designs, three of each. This one here is actually a bonus sheet from the back. And then you also got frames on one of them. So and then these were your other ones. But um so this is one side and then you so you got three all together. So it looks like this, and then you flip it over, it looks like this, which both of them are beautiful. But I wish they would have had three of these too because I think that's gorgeous. And this one here, oh, and it was the, it was called Maxi Creative Pad. So again, you got three different, or three patterns, two different patterns. You got three papers, two different patterns, yeah. Yeah, I'm on the ball. <laughs> okay, and here's this one here. And again, we got those. And did I buy, I have an extra one. I don't understand it. Maybe I bought two sets of those, I don't know. Oh, and this is the one I tore it when I pulled apart. Sad day. Gorgeous, gorgeous papers but really hard to get them out of the book. <laughs> okay, and this is, this one here, this is called, it's another Maxi Creative Pad, and this is Italian Streets. And so you've got the back and the front, you got the six by sixes. And this is what the whole thing looks like, but here it is, six by six. So I've already taken these out because I've got a plan for those. And again, you get three. So it looks like this. It's beautiful. This, um, so these look like doors. I said this kind of looks like a box if it was this way. Beautiful papers. And here's like a stone wall, otherwise the peeling wood and blue and oh when we went to um, Chicago I took pictures of like the beautiful windows and doors in Chicago and that's what this reminds me of so you got the two different patterns and oh here's rustic dreams again 
by memory place and so there was also brick in there and then this pretty pattern and I must have used some of those because I think or at least one of those okay and this was from a paper pad and I don't know what it was but um, they had like succulents in the pad if that rings a bell and again I got it that at Tuesday morning and these are from yep paper studio and it's just it's like a slight pink cast to it when you look at it and this again is I think this might have been from a Heidi Swap book paper pad I got it Tuesday morning and this is from what oh this is from oh what's it called it's called I think I have the book here it's called brick and frames and it's from Asuka so one side looks like this. I think I was going to use it and that's in my head the, the branding strip taken off already. And this is a Suka leather and wood texture. So one side is white wood, the other side is the dark, well it's almost like a black. And then there's like a little leather band running across which would be just beautiful by itself on a, or you know, on a layout. And this one here is leather and then a pink leather and again it's got the neat branding strip. And this one here is like a parquet floor and both sides are parquet and then this one has a leather strip. And this one is the brown with the brown leather strip and, and then it's kind of like a it's kind of like a pea green looks like split pea soup <laughs> but wouldn't that be gorgeous on a man's layout I got a really neat picture of my husband's grandfather that would be neat done on that and this is another parquet floor that like a chevron pattern and one side is the dark and then the other side is white and then here's another um, it looks like bombardier jacket and it is blue on the back and the leather band of course which is just the band is just so pretty too okay and this is from that um, I think it's called brick and frames yeah brick wall and frames so this one looks like a chalkboard and then it's got the brick on it. Now I wish I had brought it all the way down because I kind of have a hard time using it with the flat. But I will probably do that one of these days because I didn't really buy it for this even though if I come up with, you know, sometimes you use what you, the side that you didn't actually buy it for. It's happened to me several times. And then the beautiful brick again and another frame. And then a plastic. Okay, the my camera did it to me again at least I heard it this time okay so the plaster wall and the wood floor and then on this side it has the frames and then my friend gave me this it's a pink brick and it's got like a rose gold in between which is really pretty and this one here was in a paper pad and it's just marble and I'm not sure what this is kind of looks like birch tree but would it go the other way I'm not sure I don't know it was in a paper pad with that um, bicycle with the against the green wood so it was in that same pad okay so that's it for the wood category and now I just have dots and stripes to go and and then I have like odds and ends um, like I have, I do have a category, well I have my Christmas ones, um, but we kind of went through those um, during Christmas, so I, I probably won't go through those when I refreshed them. And then um, also, 
I have my mente, which I have separate. And then I do have a whole pile of paper. It's maybe six inches tall or eight inches tall that I just haven't even put away. I pulled it out and then I didn't put it back away. <laughs> but some of my, I have made um, actually um, page kits out of. So I need to see what I have there. But um, thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.